What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Now, after defeating Sphermorph yesterday, uh, here we find out that there are several spheres located across the world, similar to the Jex sphere that we just discovered. And these spheres actually unlock Orin's next limit breaks, or uh, overdrives. So, we're going to have to keep an eye out for those. Wait. Yeah? Jack loved you. Oh, come on, please. He just didn't know how to express it, he said. I guess... Enough about my old man, okay? I, I, I don't know, I mean, he was just such a jerk to Titus when he was a okay. kid, like... That doesn't seem like... Thanks. Not knowing how to express it to me. I mean, he seemed sincere enough about it when he was in Spira, but... Meh. Where are you going, Awaka? We got another little travel agency place. And Albed Primer, Volume 16. I don't think that will be rich by tomorrow all on account of this celebration. I I don't I, I don't know that this is what? prime location. Me? I mean Great. This is like you, This place is cold and stuff. Uh looks like mostly the same stuff. going on here, Clasco. Would you look at this? They always leave me behind. At least this time you got the chocobo. Oh, you want me to scratch you? There. Good boy. <laughs> How'd you know what it wanted? Uh, I've always been able to tell how chocobos feel. Maybe I'd make a better chocobo breeder than chocobo knight, huh? Hey, what job do you see me doing? Yeah, sure, be a breeder. Yeah, I think so too. Hmm. You know, I might just give it a try. That seems a pretty sudden decision for a uh, career change. Can I not get at that chest? Should I resign? Would Captain Lucille let me? I guess not. I was. I guess I can't get to the chest. I wasn't replying to Clasco there. Uh, Albed compilation sphere. Seriously, a wedding's not supposed to make people feel this bad, huh? Come on, don't say that. <laughs> uh, I say what I want ever since I was a kid. Oh, so you're an adult now? Except for you know when Lulu steps in and. I've heard Lady Yuna is to wed Maester C. You and everyone else. It is great news. I'd like to congratulate her, but it is a pity. I'd hoped Lady Yuna would defeat Sin and bring the calm to spirit. That's still the plan. Yuna's still gonna journey, even after she's married. Ah, oh, that is also great news. Her resolve is admirable. Can we go now? I'm tired of waiting. Stop pushing me, Macon. Yuna's really quiet. Gee, I wonder why. Anything can happen. Make sure you're prepared, right? <laughs> he just says nothing. Far. Why stop here? Well, obviously because of the safe sphere. Let's see what Yuna's is up to. Don't forget to smile, remember? Oh, you're right. I'll try and remember. Okay, let's get out of here. You want to follow the little red arrow? As always. Lady Yuna, we've been expecting uh, of course you have. 
We were surprised you decided to come so soon. Pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly course. surprised, of course. Sends his apologies for having left without notice. It's quite all right. I have one question, if I may, sir. Milady. I want to keep journeying, even if I marry. Do you think that Maester Seymour would let me? But of course, my lady. Lord Seymour wishes nothing else, I'm sure. Well, that does it, I guess. Goodbye. Well, we must follow Grotto tradition. I'll have to ask you to wait here a little while longer. Shouldn't we be going I with her? Someone to escort you. Like the temple's up there too, isn't it? I... We're all with you. Do she still needs to pray to the Aeon, or um, the Aeon? No, the Fate. Sorry, that was your line. Yuna. Okay then. It's an ambush. I guess we have to follow the red arrow instead of leaping over the banks like everyone else. Stand back. See, this is what happens when you don't bring the guardians with you. They're all running away. Uh, what's that? Looks dangerous. They just keep coming up with more and more dangerous implements of doom, don't they? And here we have Well, we have the boss, Crawler, and Negator. So first thing I want to do is use Titus's energy rain. Okay, that was pretty fail. It shouldn't matter though. Oh, that didn't do any damage to Negator. Oh well. So, what we want to do is... Well, first I want to get, um... Let's go with Armor Break on the boss. Oh, it's immune. Oh well. Let's get Walk out here to take down that thing. That was faster than I expected. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get Lulu out here real quick. As always, she's going to be the biggest source of damage here. Now that, uh, the negator's down and she can actually attack. Uh, let's get Titus back out. Get haste on Lulu. Some other people in here to get some AP. I guess that's a counter attack. Uh, let's see, I don't think Riku's done anything yet. Actually, no, she stole already, didn't she? 
Okay, so it looks as though I'm not going to be able to kill this thing before the mana beam. So what I want to do is get Yuna out here and summon. Uh, I don't really care to actually do any damage with uh, these Aeons. Or this Aeon, I suppose. I'm just uh, looking for a meat shield, basically. And use shield. That was kind of pathetic. And get my party back. Oh, negator's back. I guess we'd better get Waka back out here. I wonder if I can hit that thing with Lancet. I can! Nice! Hmm. That counterattack is becoming problematic. Uh, he's probably my biggest hitter here, so let's get... Can I... No, I can't delay him. So, let's get some damage out of him. Uh, Orn's probably next heaviest hitter. I want to pass her turn. I'm just hoping to get an overkill. Oh well. If I ca really cared about it, I would have summoned an Aeon. Easy enough, with a little bit of uh, strategery. And with that, we're going to leave it here for today on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Catch you later.